Yeah. In short, to sum up this video, Lele Pons. Lele fucking yeah. Pons. Let's give the people what they want. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Just like every year, YouTube released another rewind, then as always, it's worse than the previous year. We've got two special guests with us. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm letting you know right now that I am lying. It's the second most disliked YouTube video of all time after Justin Bieber's baby, uh, but it's getting close. So without wasting your time, I present to you Will Smith and Social Movements, featuring YouTubers, kinda. Big chance you don't know 80% of them. Yeah, it's rewind time. Yeah, if I control Rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Yes, video starts with my favorite YouTuber Will Smith. Although I gotta say, 2018 Will Smith kinda sucks. I miss 2012 Will Smith who used to play Amnesia. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest problems of this rewind as well. It used to be all about YouTubers featuring a couple of celebrity cameos. Right now it focuses on celebrities that are also YouTubers. Yeah. Featuring family friendly YouTubers. Who is Marshmallow? Slime dump! Three, no, two, oh gosh, one! You challenge us to make slime with blenders! Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? Quit horsing around! Oh my god, they got Ninja. Ninja? Yeah? He's my yeah. guy. Mill your faces. Play me some of that jumping music. They got the blue-haired emo kid. I love this guy. He plays Fortnite. We all love Fortnite. Quit horsing around! I can already see YouTube thinking like, this is our new PewDiePie. This is a clean-cut version of PewDiePie who doesn't wear with blue hair. Kids love blue hair. I love Ninja as well. He's my favorite YouTube con- But he's a Twitch streamer. So... That doesn't really work. The f*** ah. you say to me, you little shit?! We control Rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. If that's the case, then just dedicate this video to the yellow demonetization sign. That would sum up 2018 pretty fairly. There's one thing this video needs. K-POP! This is the problem. K-POP! No. YouTube Rewind is not about YouTubers anymore. In my opinion, we should have the biggest, most trending things that happened in YouTube uh, in 2018. Even if you think that their content is not family friendly enough for you. Fag Slime videos isn't the only thing people watch. Whoa! Dude, what? Oh! Dude, what? The seaweed particles are getting like all up in it, man. I need another glove. Do you by any chance have another glove? Ask for one. Can I please have another glove? <laughs> All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. We got more celebrities. I'm shocked by the like-dislike ratio on this video. I mean, we got famous people in a video that is supposed to celebrate YouTubers. What's not to like? He's doing a Fortnite dance. Look at the way he's doing that Fortnite dance. It's funny, first of all, and it makes sense. People like Fortnite. Duh. You know who really needs to be in this rewind video? Everyone who managed to do something bigger than themselves this year. Here we go. This is one of the biggest reasons why I really hate this video. Nothing wrong with the message, but what does it have to do with YouTube and uh, YouTubers? Why are you talking about this, but not talking about like the biggest online boxing match between KSI and Logan Paul? No, you actually suck at talking, bro. Why are you not talking about the biggest YouTube documentary series made by Shane Dawson? Sociopath. Sociopath. Sociopath, 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 sociopath. Where are YouTubers like Idubs, Max Mofo, Ryan Higa? Most importantly, where the f is PewDiePie? I'm currently respecting women. And yes, I want Logan Paul and Jake Paul in this video unironically. And if you're nice enough, bring his dad as well. I love this guy. Yo, what's happening, folks? Okay, I got Logan's merch, I got Jake's merch. Last year we were complaining about Jake Paul and Logan Paul being in Rewind. This year, I think it made sense. Bam, bam, bam. 
and also yodeling kid. Yeah. Just, 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 just why? To everyone who proved it's okay to talk about mental health this year and showing their viewers that it's okay to go through tough times like that. That's okay, I agree, don't get me wrong, but it should be secondary to YouTubers. It's not what this video is supposed to be about. It takes a lot of bravery to be that- I remember her. Rice can't broke her phone. Fabulous and empowering art of drag. I want to- Can we give a moment to working moms? Yeah, I mean, this video can be about YouTubers and their accomplishments. If I get this kill and win, it will be my most killed game ever. Or about working moms. Can we give a moment to working moms? The video is called YouTube Rewind. Description says celebrate the videos, people, music, and moments that define 2018. Can we give a moment to working moms? Okay, I admit, I love this video about YouTubers because they celebrate working moms. How could you not like that? Okay, it's cool, but maybe not in this video. I think we should read the comments. Well, that's a yeah. up idea. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Yeah, I have a feeling this is about to get a little bit crazy. Let's give the people what they want. Familiar faces, worn out places, Worn out faces. I love this so much. It's like they're doing it on purpose. It's impossible to make it worse at this point. Let's give people what they want. Cuts to Lele Pons. I wish it was ironic. Honestly, I wish they were joking. Then the video is just getting weirder and weirder every second and I'm kinda struggling to see how this video is about the content creators of 2018. I also love the idea of this video. The theme of this video is We Control Rewind. We control rewind this year. Y'all, we can do whatever we want. But it's the complete opposite of what people want. YouTube doesn't care about content creators anymore. Unless you're some family-friendly PG content creator that they can shove down people's throat, they don't care. You don't make slime videos. Now this YouTube Rewind deserves all the criticism in the world. I agree with 90% of it. Although I gotta say, when people are saying that FuseyTube, uh, TanaCon should be on this video, I don't necessarily agree because this video is about celebrating biggest moments, positive moments of 2018 when it comes to YouTube, and these were just disasters, if that's the right way to call it. Yes. No one cares! I guess they deserve to be in an opposite video. And all you needed to do to avoid backlash is have Logan Paul vs. KSI, Shane Dawson series, and most importantly, PewDiePie. Now this is just my honest opinion, but even if we had the same rewind, this terrible rewind, but if you started this video with PewDiePie or ended it with PewDiePie, the dislike-like ratio would be way different. Well, I'm glad PewDiePie's chair made it into the video, even though I guess it wasn't really YouTube's uh, decision. Now, last year's rewind was terrible. It got a lot of criticism and we expected a better rewind this year. However, I gotta say, since it's like the most disliked YouTube video of all time, soon to be, I think the next year is going to be slightly better. I'm not sure if they will get PewDiePie, but I'm pretty sure we will get Shane Dawson, KSI, and our favorite brothers of YouTube. Now, even though the video sucks, I can get used to all of this. But my question is, where the f*** yeah. is Ryan Toys reviews? Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I wanna end this video with a... Confession. The real reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to be in this rewind as well. I texted YouTube and I got an offensive response. It's offensive because it's 2018. Everything is offensive. After writing a long letter with really great arguments on why I should be in YouTube Rewind 2018, I got an offensive response of them saying, Forehead too big bruh. Disgusting.